That's where all the fishermen are right now. And, uh, up there is a claim going somewhere. Some fishermen. Right there. Yeah. Sun's coming up. Is it there? <laughs> Harbour, this is the port kind of thing. Down here. Ooh, old fishing nets. Old stone things that they're replacing something with, but I don't really know the one over there. Hi. <laughs> you may not know me. Well, you may know me. Um, I haven't been around here an awful long time. And, uh, oh, shit, for all the reasons. Sydney's uh, family, Sydney's uh, moving, work, you name it. Shit happens. And, um, And I thought I'll do something <laughs> because it's been so long and uh, we're in the process of moving uh, that's dragging on and uh, like you just saw 
Um, we haven't moved to <laughs> we haven't moved to Mallorca yet. But it is in my plan. Um, okay, so um, here I am. I'm still alive and. Uh, It might be time to organise them and we get together. I don't know what I'm saying now. Anyway, um, so I'm doing a basic brewing Kolsch alt beer type thing. Um, and as I haven't done any kind of beer brewing in a year, this is going to be a bodge. So what we're dealing with is a kilo of light DME. We're doing 10 litre ish of beer. We've got some lactose, we've got some multidextrin, we've got um, this grain. My scales failed, I've had to go old school with these things. So I've got uh, 200 grams of Cara Gold and 200 grams of Cara Hell, which we're going to steep in a muslin bag. And that's going to go in this pot of water, in this pot of water uh, here, um, using bottled water. I've got three litres of water warming up nicely in there. So what we're going to do, funnily enough, is I'm going to use this container. I'm putting my DME in this container. Um, when I'm finished steeping the grains, that lot is going in this container. I'm going to stir it all in, and then it's going back in that pot uh, for a boil with some added water. Uh, you, you'll see, I think, maybe. It's going to work. It'll work. I've, in, it'll work. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's all good. So this, this will go in there now. Um, so mostly I've been drinking, mostly I've been drinking and I've been around and done, still done uh, some beery stuff, but mostly I've been going to breweries and and things. I missed, I missed, um, I missed the London get together because uh, for those who don't know I have Crohn's disease and um, I had an outbreak so I've had lots of outbreaks. Uh, So I missed it, and I've missed nearly everything else that I did go. One thing I did do is I, did, I went to the Windsor and Eaton Brewery Tour. Uh, that was very good. Um, not sure it was, it was different to Harry's Brewery Tour. But this, this, um, this is sterilised. This is a kilo. And that's just going in the bucket. I forgot what more smelled like. This is not <laughs> this is not supposed to be a hugely um, bitter beer. So this is a cross Kolsch alt type German beer. Brewed in Sunbury. Actually, Feltham, let's be honest, and uh, lower Feltham at that. So, because uh, that is where I still am. So, there's the grain. Grain there, it's just a simple bag of grain, really. And uh, that's going in there now. And I shall try and I thought I had a bulldog clip left, but 
Um, it's just going to be a a peg. Wife will never know. Okay, so that's in, and uh, the Von Chef will do its job. Um, anyone, any Muppet can make beer, even me. Uh, the hops are here. And um, I've changed jobs. I'm still in uh, the railway, but I'm, uh, I'm part-time. So I do less hours and I do less unsociable shifts. But um, I'm still doing plenty of overtime. So if it all works, the wife needs me more at home and as that deteriorates. So um, so far it's all good. I've uh, been fairly ill the last two weeks, but just got back from holiday, as you saw. <laughs> right, so we've got the yeast there. I think we're going with this yeast just to see what happens, really. And that has to go up to 70, which will quietly be doing that. So I think we've all, we're have we going to go with the Dusseldorf Alt yeast. Um, And I'll be back. I've measured everything out I need to measure. I can go back in there. Uh, okay. It's like being new at it. <laughs> I haven't been on the Facebook group for uh, I don't even know how long. I did uh, I even think I got deleted off the Facebook. I might have got deleted off the Facebook group. Uh, again, I'm not sure. Uh, that can go over there. Uh, but I think I'm back on, thanks to um, Jim. Jim, I think, put me back on. The official beer of, of, of Royal Alaska, sadly, is Stella Artois. Um, as I end up working at uh, the train station of Royal Alaska and organising a lot of stuff there, and anyway. So, anyway. These are hops that have been away for a long time and um, it's about three and a half grams, I think a little more because <laughs> them scours didn't read it, so I've kind of winged it. It'll be all right. Um, half an hour for that. Uh, let's get a beer. Uh, a cup of Kolsch. Uh, all the way from Cologne. Yeah, this is um, this is a nice Kolsch, and um, I got this from Beers of Europe a while back. <laughs> um, um, if you live in London and where I live. You cannot use tap water. You need to treat it forever because of the chlorine. Uh. But this is a very nice Kolsch. Yeah, like I said, I've not I've brewed nothing. I've drunk some beer, but I've brewed nothing. Um, things got busy. Uh, we were looking at moving fairly quickly for a while, and then that all slowed down. But everything I've got now is packed away. All my equipment is boxed and uh, away in a lockup. I've I've still got some stuff in the old outhouse. In fact, there's something still fermenting in the old outhouse. I have not got a clue what that is. I've actually steered away from it. Um, cheers. <clears throat> That's nice. Um, if I can brew at this beer anywhere near as good as that beer, half as good as that beer, I'd be happy, man. 
Simple brewing done by a simple man. This is what this is. So we basically, it's just dry malt. Um, there's a bit of dextrin. We're steeping grains. We'll get the sugars out of that. The flavour will come from that. Nothing will come from the, uh, from the dry. All the flavours coming out of here. And this little bit of hops in here. I'm using an induction plate, which if you know me, when I do my smaller batches, I use an induction. And when I do a bigger pot, I have the big pot. <laughs> Um, um, welcome to Brewing 101. <laughs> so this is nine months out of date. We're going for it though, because we're not doing a big, a big beer. I'm going to risk it just because I'm going to use it really. So, once it's finished steeping, I'm not sure you can see this, so here is the steep, here with this um, sieve, I'm going to run my grains from the steeping bag onto there, and we'll just give that a rinse out, I'm going to use the broth, the wort <laughs> from, from the pot just to run through the grains and um, and then we'll go we'll go onwards <laughs> oh god so it's at a good half an hour steep and we're just bringing it out now just gonna take some of this can you see that? yeah and run that through the grains into this other pot just because I want to get without squeezing it anything I've left any of the good stuff slightly serious, not really that serious um, brewing beer now there's lots of different ways to brew beer. There's brew a kit, there's brew in a bag, there's three vessel brewing, there's all in the one pot brewing, there's um, using homely grain brewing, there's using liquid malt brewing, there's using dry malt extract brewing. There's just so many different options that you can do. You can combine them with steeping grains. You can do so many different things. Brewing should be however you want to do it. And there's no hard and fast rules other than keep it clean. <laughs> and other than that, the world is your oyster, as they would say. So do what you want to do. If you want to throw this into some dry malt at the end of this boil, do that. If you want to transfer it and then boil it. So DME dry malt doesn't need to be boiled. It's already been done. So in many ways it's not necessary. <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm going to add my steeped grain brew. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm boiling this. I'm adding my hops to this. We're going to do a 15 minute boil because we're not talking a lot of beer here. And then we are going to throw cold water to chill it with the DME mixed in and that will add our volume. We'll see what happens. And uh, we'll get that down to a temperature we can deal with and we'll go from there. It's stop raining. My thermometer still works, no <laughs> battery's good. 
So we'll use that when I'm gonna. If you haven't, you know what? <laughs> you can stick your pinky in and you can probably tell where you are on the whole of this kind of brew because we're not doing science here. I'm just looking for a tasty beer and that's it. And this is a beer that I probably won't drink for a month because what I'm gonna do is chill this bugger in a fridge because I want it to get really cold. So I'm gonna cold crash it uh, in the fridge. So I'm gonna let it do its thing for uh, the first week out in my front room, which is empty now, other than boxes for the move. And it will sit on the cold floor and it will do its thing. And then I'll move it to a fridge, bring the temperature right down then I'll bring it back out, warm it back up and I'm going to do that twice and then I'll bottle it or I'll use a mini keg and keg it because I've still got the mini kegs I haven't packed up but anyway we'll see what happens and I'll film some shit later on down the way uh, I'm not boring the shit out of everybody but I probably am um, <sighs> it sounds like a beer. Cheers. <sighs> I've a pretty good, <laughs> I've a pretty good chance I'm dry hopping this as well. I think we're going to have to add a few hops to this um, about a week in. It smells pretty good, so it's a good start. Uh, I'm not picking up anything off from the pot. About 10 minutes left, 10 minutes. I mean, if it were, I mean, if it works, uh, it's, it's a pretty simple way to make a beer. Um, it's not the cheapest because it's dry malt, so you pay more for dry malt. And, uh, the process is pretty simple, but then you're still boiling and you're still going through the whole thing. Is it that much quicker? It probably took me an hour to do all this. Um, I don't know if anyone's used that before. Uh, so here we have the boil. So I'm going to add the hops. So the hops are in. And uh, we're at 15 minutes we're going to give this for. Then I'm going to add this to my dry because I've changed my idea on this whole beer three times. Um, there, that's what we're doing. So I'll come, you don't need to see any more of this rubbish because this is what this is. Okay. Okay. I've transferred from here to that, uh, poured in the cold, the cold distilled spring water. I've got 30, 14 litres of brew in that tub. I'm now letting it cool down. And uh, we'll come back in an hour and see what temperature that's at. See what temperature that's at. And then we'll, we'll bung the yeast in. All in all, it's pretty simple. And a bit of clear up, which is just washing this pot out. There really isn't a lot more washing up to do. So that's a result. The Von Chef did its job. And uh, well, we'll go from there. Thanks very much, and I'll talk to you soon. 
So when all said and done, we're looking at uh, a four percent beer once this finishes. Um, this will this will go in next, and uh, yeah, jobs are good. It's just uh, fermenting away like a bounty. It's pink because I stuck pink gin in the fermenter. Um, but as you can see, it's just banging away. So I'm just leaving it now. This is day three. This is day three of this brew. And um, I'm going to give it a week here. Then I'm going to stick it in the fridge and bring the temperature back down. And um, we'll see where we go from there. Then we may dry hop it. But well, I can't really complain right now because it's just going like a banshee. And this is a year out of date alt yeast. So I guess uh, liquid yeast is kept in the fridge. It seems to have survived. Anyway, okay, thanks.